Mute. Nothing. Today I'm gonna turn all these pieces into a prototype that will test a new and very, very important concept, Bowden cables. These Bowden cables are standard bicycle gear shifting cables that I picked up from my local hardware store. And what's so special with this method is that I will be able to make mechanical action at a distance where the two points will be completely independent from each other. A big problem on the earlier machines I've built was that the instrument position heavily depended on the programming wheel position. And if it turns out that Bowden cables actually work we will be able to place things much more independently away from each other. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's see if this solution actually works first by trying it in the real world. I'm starting by putting together these sub assemblies. And the first one is this bistable mechanism here for the muting lever. It can only be in two positions. So that is done. And then I'm continuing with the reader. So I'm sanding these uh, 3D prints down so they're smooth and pivoting nice and easily without friction. And then I'm cutting some foam because I want this to be silent. So it's kind of lying on its nice little bed of foam there. And then I put the Bowden cable end to this muting cam lever here, and that's done. Then I can continue with the marble gate. I need to remove these arms because I made a new one that can accept the Bowden cable. So I'm attaching the springs here, and that is also done. And the fourth and the last sub-assembly is the holder for the slider things. So same story there. I'm hiding the end of the bounding cable inside two parts that I'm screwing together. And then I'm adding some foam with some expensive Loctite super glue. And that's it. This is the action and everything is done. Now I have the four new sub assemblies ready to go. I'm gonna start cleaning up this old prototype board here. Today's test is going to be purely mechanical. So I'm removing all the electronics, the marble lift and the solenoid. And now we can start laying out all the sub assemblies in a really nice layout for our prototype. I don't have a chisel. So I took my kitchen knife here to chisel out this little pocket. Look at that perfect result. I need this recess to attach this programming profile on a makeshift programming wheel. So I'm measuring 50 centimeters because the diameter is exactly one meter. And then I'm drilling that pivot point. And then I'm measuring the distance. It should be 544 millimeters from the pivot point. And this is my makeshift programming wheel. It's pivoting nicely back and forth like this. And you can see how the profile engages with the reader. If this works, I think we have another 10x improvement compared to the previous machines. So I'm going to connect this point with this point using this cable. I'm going to demonstrate that we can turn these cables around by making an extra unnecessary loop like this. However, even if it feels like these Bowden cable is making me immortal, they are not. So the straighter and shorter cable you have, the less friction with the steel wire inside. We should go short and straight, but if we need to, we can actually go in circles like so. So I'm starting by threading the steel wire. So the wrapping lies in this foundation here. So now if I pull this in and out, we can see the function of the cable here. So this is actually a muting cam lever. In the muted position, the hook is disengaged. So you can see the hook is not touching there. But if I unmute, the hook is touching. This is exactly the same muting system that we had on the Marble Machine X that never failed me. It always worked, although this is neater executed. Now I want to control this motion with this bistable lever. So I'm connecting the bowden cable here. So now I'm going to tune the relationship. So in this position, I want the cam to be muted 90 degrees. So three o'clock. So far, perfect. So this cam pivots 90 degrees. So 12 o'clock to three o'clock. This lever pivots half, only 45 degrees. So 10 over 12, 10 to 12. So the way I achieved this relationship is that here, the wire is 40 millimeter from the center of the pivot point. And here, the wire is 20 millimeter from the center of the pivot point. 
And then I designed this bistable mechanism to restrict the movement here to 45 degrees. And then I have a perfect 90 degree turn of this cam. So I love this system. So in this position, the instrument is off and we can see that by simulating the programming wheel. So nothing happens until we unmute and these hooks are engaging. So then this thing is pulled to the left. So let's now connect the next piece of the puzzle, this movement to the marble gate. Moment of truth. Comes to a programming wheel. Nothing happens. Oh wait, it's muted. <laughs> Just tricking you there. Here we go, first marble drop, hopefully. Wow. Mute. Nothing. On. <laughs> okay, awesome, 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 awesome. Now I'm gonna show you the best thing with the whole design. So when a profile is not in use, we can mute and unmute whatever. So prepare to play a note or prepare to have the channel muted. But we can even disengage and engage the muting lever when a profile is engaged with the reader. So let's start from the muted position. Nothing is playing. But now the profile is engaging with the reader and right there I unmute. And watch carefully what happens up here. When nothing is being played, no marble has been dropped, the profile passes and the hooks engage by themselves and we can now play the next note. This little part pivots like this and the reason it pivots is to allow for this little action right there. So now let's show the reverse example. We are playing with the channel dropping marbles and the profile engages the reader and I'm unmuting in the middle of the engagement. Look what happens. The hooks doesn't release because they are already connected. So the top thing is holding the bottom hook up just by force. So we're playing the last marble, perfect. But the next marble is automatically muted. This, my friends, is absolutely amazing. So we have never any half hits of this hook. I can just do whatever and sometimes there's a marble and sometimes not. Very, very proud of this design. And as I said, this design is reused from the Marble Machine X. This system never gave me any headaches or heartaches on the Marble Machine X. I love these bow bowden cables. I think this prototype has proved the use of these cables. So here it's muted and while it's engaged, I unmute and the hook falls together and place the next note. And here it's engaged while playing. I'm unmuting here and after playing next note, the hook God, I hate these floor marbles. <laughs>So it is a huge success, I'm really really happy. For next video I'm going to reattach this Arduino system to do the measurements of the marble gate again and check if any of these parts have introduced any timing issues. I don't think they have but I want to check to make sure. And just to explain to you why this is so huge for the Marble Machine 3. Let's say that I want a kick drum over here and I want a hi-hat over here. There's one meter between them. With the old design, that meant that we need a programming wheel that is at least one meter wide because everything had to align. So the programming points like this had to align with the instrument a little bit. So with the Bowden cable system, things doesn't have to align. So I can have the drums one meter apart 
but have a, only a half a meter wide programming wheel, which makes a huge difference when manufacturing the programming wheels. So the positional relationship between this part and this part are independent. And when you're designing, when you have two heavy chains of dependency, when everything depends on the position of everything else, you're just constrained and you kind of, you lack space. So with this, we are freeing up a lot of efficient design solution with these systems. So the same goes for the muting lever. I can put this muting lever inside a shower and put the marble uh, on and off from the shower. I can mount it next to my stove in the kitchen and muse the Marble Machine 3 while cooking if I want to. <laughs> you, you get the idea. Einstein once called quantum entanglement when two particles are connected over a vast distance for spooky action at the distance. And this is spooky mechanical action at the distance. And I really love it. I think it's a huge unlock and a 10X improvement for Marble Machine 3. <laughs>